RJ Star Good Morning India Creative Log and Where East Meets West Fusion Solo Song It is my privilege and honor to welcome our esteemed chief guest Padma Shri Shobha Deepak Singh to this valedictory function Ms Shobha Deepak Singh serves as the director and vice chairperson of Shri Ram Bharatiya Kala Kendra a Delhi based cultural organization which promotes music and performing arts through its schools and stage shows. She was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 for her contributions to art and culture by the government of India. In 1967, she joined Shri Ram Bharatiya Kala Kendra, a cultural organization founded by her mother. She pursued her studies to secure the degree of Bachelor of Performing Arts and studied dance under stalwarts such as Shambhu Maharaj and Birju Maharaj and music under Biswajit Roy Choudhury in 1992 she joined living theater of Ibrahim Alkazi former director of the National School of Drama and studied theater direction securing a diploma in 1996 ma'am has made significant contributions most notably in the revival of Mayurbhanj Chhau a tribal martial dance form belonging to Odisha she is the organizer of summer ballet festival an annual dance festival conducted in new delhi ma'am has also written a book on indian theater under the title theater escapes experiencing rasas we are indeed very honored to have ms singh amongst us I would now like to call upon Ms. Deepa Awadwa ma'am, Senior School Coordinator and our mentor to give the welcome address. Good afternoon. Art is an effort to create beside the real world a more humane world, said Andre Morris. Culture is the sum of all the forms of art, of love and of thought. which in the course of centuries have enabled man to be less enslaved felt andrew valdex at cambridge schools it has been our ardent endeavor to promote art and culture in all possible ways image a festival of art culture and literary activities is an example of how the arts encourage students to compete and collaborate it's my proud privilege to welcome you all to our coveted festival conceptualized way back in 1989 i welcome our chief guest for the day padma shri shrimati shobha deepak singh director and vice chairperson shri ram bharatiya kala kendra she is a writer and classical dancer who has been associated with promoting music and performing arts through its schools and stage shows she has helped revive many dying arts we are grateful that ma'am agreed to be the chief guest for our valedictory function Thank you ma'am. I also welcome Dr. Kalyani Roy, Secretary, Society for the Advancement of Education, which runs the Cambridge Schools for encouraging the arts. I welcome all management members, principals from other schools, participants, teachers, parents and all those who are watching this program through Facebook and YouTube. These 3 days of image have seen 33 schools competing in various events related to art culture music and languages i am sure it has helped children learn and collaborate with each other i welcome you all once again to the much awaited valedictory function thank you dr kalyani roy ma'am manager kimber school noida and secretary society for advancement of education has been the guiding force behind the smooth functioning of all kimber schools ma'am has always been a source of inspiration in all our endeavors may i now request dr kalyani roy ma'am to kindly encourage the students with her message dear children the year has come around again to carnival time and we are gathered here together to celebrate image the festival of the arts and crafts music dance and theater the corridors ring with the fullness of joy and laughter we extend we extend our best wishes to all who are gathered here today to participate in the competition 
good luck to you all. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind words. The renowned French sculptor, who's popularly regarded as the father of modern sculpture, Auguste Rodin, said that the important thing for artists is to feel, to love, to hope, to tremble, to live. It is to be, before an artist, he said, a human being. The human feelings of hope, love, anger, and fear are communicated to us through the artist's work. The vibrations of the artist's spirit sets off similar vibrations within our hearts. It is a shared feeling that links the creator and the viewer, transcending all boundaries of time and space. We shall now present the best entries of Beat Busters, a solo Western dance competition. This event saw the dynamic spirit and personality of culture being brought to life through dance. Nirantarta, Indian music competition, a platform for soothing renditions symbolizing continuity. Harshullas, a classical dance competition, one in which all participants left us spellbound with their elegance and poise. Ikalab, historical monologue, an event where we saw important figures of the past from the lens of the 21st century. Where East meets West, fusion solo song, a competition which perfectly encapsulates the idea behind a theme for this year, Le Mélange du Culture, the intermingling of cultures. Yeah. 
my seat just because my skin looked a little different than the rest and it was not like i could refuse or else they would have arrested me the laws gave them the right to do so what i did was right my refusal not only would have led to mine but other sufferings too i just couldn't muster up the courage to stand against them i have seen the consequences of what happens when you stand against them they turn into these brutal inhuman beings who beat you to death or make your life a living hell whatever that happened with me today was all wrong 
It's not that I sat in the section that was reserved for the white. The sections, the signboard clearly indicated the whites and the colored section. But that driver, that same driver that had once left me stranded in the rain, today you humiliated me by asking me to move. I have been wronged. What happened was clearly injustice. Why did he have to take up more white passengers if the bus was full? Why are we always asked to move? This country that boasts of its greatness has clearly mentioned that it gives equal rights to each and every citizen born and brought up in this country. Then why? Why does this discrimination still persist? God treats us equally. He never discriminates in the love that he provides us. If Jesus can see us as equals, then why? Why do these individuals get to decide which color is superior among the human race? If equality can't be practiced, then why preach it? Why write big articles and amendments about it? I have lived enough to know that this word equality only exists on paper. Living with the same humiliating treatment for this long, I'm tired and I'm frustrated. When I was a little girl, I remember pushing that white boy who pushed me. Or that other time when that white neighborhood bully bothered me and my brother, mother, you threatened me with dire consequences. You asked me not to meddle. You asked me not to confront and to live a peaceful life. But with these feelings of shame, anger, and frustration? Mother, there is no peace in my life. Mother may not agree, but I believe. I believe that there will be a change someday in the future. Till then, I hope Lord Almighty bestow me with forbearance so that I remain strong and bear all these feelings of shame and anger. Or give me courage so that I remain seated on the bus seat next time and bear all the consequences of my action with light heart and battered body. I am Samani Roy of Class 7, presenting a fusion of Indian classical tarana based on Rag Yaman and on my game.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Shivansh Mehrotra. I'm a student of class 8, and I'll be presenting my fusion. often associated with Russia, but interestingly, it is a traditional art form that originated in Italy over 500 years ago. Though the dancers appear to be gentle and graceful in their movements, ballet technique requires a tremendous amount of strength, balance, technical skill and flexibility. As it is widely known, dance is the hidden language of the soul and a young ballerina of our school will now enthrall you with a lovely ballet.
that was undoubtedly fabulous and absolutely graceful. After such a refreshing and joyful segment, may I now request our Honorable Chief Guest, Ms. Shobha Deepak Singh, to kindly address the audience. Uh, I am happy to speak for the students of Cambridge School, Noida. Uh, I want to just say that to all the students, that I was about 10 or 11 years old when I began, I mean, my dance, theater, music. And let me tell you that all these ex expand the horizon of children to learning things which they would never have known. They say, uh, when we do our Ram Dila, in our Ram Dila, we show what Ram did and what uh, others should not have done. Like uh, sending him to the forest to kill Ravan is fine, but to deprive Bharat of his seat of uh, being the king and so on. So, and then we have like other productions like Krishna, uh, Meera, and I want to just say to all the students that all these, we interpret these in a today's way, not in a Meera who was many years ago. We interpret all these do aaj hai. Meera is do. Uh, every woman to me has the a strength to face society. And that's what Meera did. She broke the walls of her house and all the um, chattels and she emerged from this as a very, very uh, strong woman. And unfortunately, most of the lyrics nowadays attributed to Meera will show her, show her with the ek tara and weeping. But actually, our Meera never wept and there's no Christian in her life. That's the way I think that dance and music should be interpreted. I want to thank you all. Thank you, ma'am, for your encouraging words. We are greatly honored to have amongst us our chief guest for today, Padmashri Srimati Shobha Deepak Singh, ma'am. On behalf of the Cambridge family, I wish to convey my heartfelt gratitude to you, ma'am, for gracing the occasion. Every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. And on that note today, we shall appreciate and applaud the efforts of all participants who've achieved excellence in the various competitions held during Image 2022. Their diligence, hard work and perseverance have paid off and this function is a celebration of their achievements. We shall now begin by announcing the names of the winning teams and the winners of the overall trophy. I begin by announcing the winners of the AC Dev Memorial Inter-School English Debate, Best Speaker. The first prize goes to Ishmeet Kaur from Somerville School, Noida. Second prize has been backed by Mannat Kaur Miglani from Delhi Public School, Noida. And the third position goes to Shivansh Kumar Raj from Alcorn International School. The prize for the best team goes to Mannat Kaur Miglani and Alhan Akmal from Delhi Public School, Noida. Up next, we have Beat Buster Solo Western Dance Competition. The first prize goes to Prisha Gupta from Amity International School, Basundra. Adhita Asthana from Somerville School, Noida has backed the second position. And Shreya Karmakar from Bal Bharti Public School, Jalvayu Vihar, has bagged the third prize. Now we move on to Nirantarta, Indian Music Competition. The first prize goes to Hanifa Malik, Arav Rana, and Rehanshi Patra from Cambridge School, Noida, Cambridge School, New Friends Colony. Arunima Biswas, Shijani Majumdar, Shinjini Majumdar, and Anshika Nair from Cambridge School, Noida and Anakshi Ghosh, Divyanshi Sharma, Sanvi Thaplyal from Sarla Chopra DAV Public School have jointly backed the second prize. Keisha Mahajan, Gurnas Kaur and Rishan Mahajan from Springdale School, Pusa Road have won the third prize. Now we have the winners of Vaad Vivaad on the topic Bharatiya Sanskriti Par Adhunikta Ka Prabhav. The first prize goes to Ayana Satya from APJ School, Noida. The second position has been jointly backed by Shahzeb Akhtar from Cambridge Primary School, NFC, and Garvita Dheeraj from Cambridge School, Noida. 
The third prize goes to Tejal Bhagel from Cambridge School, Greater Noida. Scratch, scratch coding competition winners include Aditya Priyesh from Somerville School, Noida, bagging the first prize, Daksh Vinod Agrawal from Vishwabharti Public School, Noida, and Arehan Poshik from Cambridge School, Noida, winning the second prize. And the third prize goes to Tanish Bansal from Mayur School, Noida. I shall now be announcing the winners of Art Competition Junior. The winners of photo frame making are as follows. Mohammad Zaid from Raja Ram Mohan Roy Academy, Dehradun has backed the first prize. The second position goes to Avni Gautam from ASN Senior Secondary School, Mayur Bihar. And Yashmita Narayan from Somerville School, Noida has backed the third position. The winners of Mandala Art Competition are as follows. The first prize goes to Aryahi Shiv from Billabong International School, Noida. Shorya Sharma from ASN Senior Secondary School, Mayur Bihar has won the second prize. And the third position goes to Urjasri Malhotra from Father Agnes School, Noida. The winners of the competition Draw and Paint are as follows. Apurva Singh from ASN Senior Secondary School, Senior Secondary School, Mayur Vihar, bagging the first position. Rinki Barua Fukan from Billabong International School, winning the second prize. And the third prize goes to Sriparna Datta from GD Goenka School, Noida, and Garvita Dheeraj from Cambridge School, Noida. Mehfile Ghazal, Solo Ghazal Singing Competition. The winners of this competition are Yashaswini Dagar, from Somerville Public School, Noida, winning the first prize. Suparnika Santosh from Bal Bharti Public School, Noida, winning the second prize. And the third position has been backed by Webhavi Joshi from Cambridge School, Indrapura. Harsho Las, a classical dance competition. The first prize for this competition has been backed by Shiksha Sinha from Vishwabharti Public School, Noida. The second prize goes to Samadrita Re Chaudhary from Somerville School, Noida. And Sriti Mahesh from Cambridge School, Greater Noida and Sanvi Bhatia from Cambridge School, Noida have jointly backed the third prize. Moving on to the next event, Chintrankan, Senior Art Competition, Local Focal. The first position goes to Somya Bansal from Somerville Public School, Noida. The second position has been jointly secured by Deva Pratap Panda from Vishwabharti Public School, Noida, and Avani Sinha from Sarvottam International School, Greater Noida. The third prize has also been a tie between Navya Gupta from Somerville School, Noida, and Agrim Tiwari from Sarvottam International School, Greater Noida. In the next event, Story Tunes. The first prize has been jointly secured by Shalini Mukhopadhyay, uh, Delhi Public School, Noida, and Disha Pandey from Cambridge School, Noida. The second position, we have Aryan Malhotra from Delhi Public School, Noida, and Shagun Saxena from Cambridge School, Noida, jointly securing the prize. The third position goes to Ananya Gupta from Somerville School, Noida. The next event, Talkie Image. The first prize goes to Shaswati Mazumdar from Somerville Public School, Noida. The second prize goes to Vrinda Garg from Delhi Public School, Noida. And the third prize has been backed by Vani Gupta from Bal Bharti Public School, Noida. In the next event, Hindi Bhashan Pratyogita, Hamari Sanskriti, Hamari Virasat. The first prize has been backed by Shambhavi Bisht from Raja Ram Mohan Roy Academy, Dehradun. The second prize goes to Sanskriti Upadhyay from Mayur School, Noida. Ronika Chauhan from SD Vidya Public School, Noida, and Sankalp Tiwari from Cambridge, Public, Cambridge School, Noida have jointly secured the third prize. The next event, Sanskrit Shlok Gayan Pratyogita. The first prize goes to Pratyush Kumar from Vishwabharti Public School, Noida. 
The second prize has been jointly backed by Anvi Rawat from Mayur Public School, Noida, and Shivanj Mehrotra from Cambridge School, Noida. The third prize has also been a tie between Ashman Das from Delhi Public School, Noida, and Khyati Sharma from Springdale's Public School, Pusa Road, New Delhi. The next event, Ikalap, a historical monologue, we have the first prize going to Harshita Singh from Somerville School, Noida. Taru Junjunwala has backed the second prize from Balbharti Public School, Noida. Savari Singh from Cambridge School, Indrapuram has taken the third prize. Moving on to the next event, RJ Star, Good Morning India. The first prize goes to Briti Ahuja from Delhi Public School, Greater Faridabad. There has been a tie for the second position between Tisya Mishra, Army Public School, Noida, and Shreya Prakash from Somerville School, Noida. The third prize has been won by Alvira Ayat Mashir, Delhi Public School, Noida. In the event Create Your Vlog, the first prize has been backed by Arun from JD Goenka School, Noida. The second prize has been jointly secured by Parul Arora from Cambridge School, Noida, and Roshni Chavla from Brain International School, Vikaspuri. The third prize goes to Abrar Ahmed from Mayur School, Noida. In the event Fusion, where East meets West, the first prize has been jointly backed by Suhani Roy from Somerville School, Noida, and Shivanj Mehrotra from Cambridge School, Noida. The second prize goes to Garf Narula from Brain International School, Vikaspuri. The third prize has been backed by Srisha Prasad DPS Greater Noid, Greater Faridabad. We now come to the moment we've been waiting for all afternoon. I am delighted to announce the winner of the AC Day Memorial Rolling Trophy. The winner for this year. The winner for this year is Somerville School Noida. Heartiest congratulations. The certificates for the winners and the participants will be mailed to the respective schools within a fortnight. I would now like to invite our mentor, Ms. Sunetra Banerjee, ma'am, head of the psychology department, to please propose the vote of thanks. Good afternoon. It's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked really hard to make Image, a festival of art, culture and literary activities a success. On behalf of the principal, staff and students, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our chief guests, Padamshri Suni Tarapurwala and Padamshri Srimati Shobha Deepak Singh. Your thoughts and enlightening words will surely encourage us in our future events. My sincere thanks to Dr. Kalyani Roy, Secretary SAE, for being the guiding light and inspiration. Congratulations to all the winners and my gratitude to all their mentors who worked hard for their success. Here in Cambridge School, we are fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very proactive and dedicated members. I extend my heartfelt thanks to all the staff members for their enormous cooperation in accomplishing the three-day festival. A special mention to our respected principal, Mrs. Preeti Sangwan, for being a catalyst that stimulated us to do our best, and our dynamic vice principal, Mrs. Nandita Sinha Roy, for being our pillar of strength. Last but not the least, I would like to thank our technical support team, without whom this virtual program would not have been possible. Thank you once again and wishing everyone to stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am.
Before this afternoon comes to an end, I would like to sincerely thank all participants, teachers, and members of the staff who worked diligently with full enthusiasm. Image 2022 would not have been a success without your support and participation. We look forward to meeting all of you, hopefully in school, in the next edition of Image. All attendees are now requested to please rise for the national anthem. child in your heart as long as you still believe in a fairy tale and though Insides, we are all the same. Let the children have a world where there is no pain or sorrow, where they all can live tomorrow and they share a brighter day. Let the children have a world where the It's some place in the sun. 